What up, me, Spidey, this guy. We're here to do the best card this ever. This the set. best card ever you ever heard of, dawg. 550 likes, like, comment down below, get a chance, win a free You saw the rapist. Shit. You saw the rapist, and now it's time for you to meet his bitch. And it's funny, we're gonna be talking about this card and we're gonna give all the facts about her. Well, you'll learn so much about her in this video. And we're gonna go into a whole bunch of things and I'm gonna let Spidey cover a lot of them and we'll get right into it. The Queen of Fate Eternia is a prize card that came out in 2005 as the second, third, fourth, and fifth place prize card given to people for getting to the event and winning. One thing that you probably noticed about the card, if you've seen it from you put a picture before or from the thumbnail of this video, it kind of looks like Ruin Queen of Oblivion, and it also looks like Divine Grace, North of Wing Dominico, whatever the fuck her name is. If you put those two cards together and have an attractive cousin, you get Queen of Eternia. So, this card's background also looks like, you know, the art from beginning of the end. Because I think, I'm pretty sure Queen of Fate Eternia came out before Queen of Oblivion. Yeah, 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 definitely. And yeah. beginning of the end. So it's nice to see that these same kind of art styles were basically taken from Queen of Fate Eternia. That basically, because yeah. as you nobody, because yeah, you, 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 nobody you. knows this, but there has not been a single video on YouTube that anyone's ever documented or talked about Queen of Fate Eternia. So this card has been brushed under the rug and nobody knows it exists. Um, and it's mainly due to that because there are Sounds all... like a side bitch, not a queen. A what? A queen. Fuck! <laughs> 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 a queen of... <laughs> it sounds like a... It sounds like... <laughs> but... No one here embarrasses me! <laughs> Alright. She comes from the World Championship Series of 2005 promos. Um, she has 2,400 attack points. It's 24. 24. She has 2,400 attack points, and she has 2,000 defense points. I think she's the first match winner that probably did not have the 3,000-3,000 stat. That's probably why he Oh, she's six. a match winner? Yeah, she's a match winner. Ritual monster? No. Regular effect monster. Oh, I never showed you what she looks like. I'll show you. So she has, like, a little, like, skull on him. Yeah, like a little demon guy. He's cute. That's so sad. She's light attribute. She's a fairy effect monster with eight stars, 2,400 attack points, 2,000 defense points. It says that this card cannot be used in a duel. And she's a fairy match winner. A match so winner requires six. that you win a match. A match being two out of three games. Her effect is this card cannot be special summoned, must be tributed summoned by tributing three fairy type monsters on your side of the field. If this card attacks your opponent's life points directly and reduces them to zero, the controller of this card wins the match. Because uh, prize cards that were given out as the second and a third or fourth place prize, they were never replicated. Only the first place prize cards would be replicated. The third, the second, the fourth place prize cards, those were never replicated. So you could even say that cards like those could even be more rare, even though they're not, because some of the first place prize cards only existed one in the world, but those had replicas. These never did, and they probably will never will. But um, going into the more information, only six copies exist in the whole world. I'm pretty sure I said that before. One is owned by Konami, which is probably locked away in Konami's vault and only given away to the only other lucky people that got second, third, fourth, and fifth place, really. The tournament was held on August 7th at the Differ Arike Arena. In Tokyo. And basically what we're going to do now is I've looked into as much information as I possibly could about the people that won the event and actually won Queen of Fate Eternia. And these are the what people... What you know about them? All right. Well, this is what I know. The deck lists or what they had? I know their names. I know three people of their names. Two of their deck lists. As Facebook them, everybody. His name is Jorge Fabian Pina Lizara. This is no Lizarada. I'll give him some credit. A lot of bank calls, though. Yeah, 2005 is what I'm trying to say. Like, How do you win with this? <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking at what all What did he this. attack with? <laughs> yeah, I'm like literally thinking, I'm like, what did you attack with? This is the third place winner, which also got a Queen of Fate Eternia, so I'll let you get into the information. Yeah, this guy was from Germany, so his last name, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but his first name is David, last name is Kretschmer. And his deck list, which is now more believable how he did, I don't know how he didn't get second place with, with cars like this. Cause yeah, because this attack. is more like you, us. Yeah, you this, is, this is what I would have went in in exactly. 2005. His deck list, he had one Black Luster Soldier Envoy at the beginning, one Jinzo, two x head Cannon, one Break of the Magical Warrior, one Tribe Infected Virus, two Dekochis, the Battle the Battle Channel Locomotive, two, CO, two, two Siyuki Yomis, 
two one sand game, one morphin jar, three magician of faith. So I'm gonna lay down <laughs> and one sinister serpent. You ran twenty spells, one pot of greed, one graceful charity, one delinquent duo, one snatch deal, one premature burial, one MST, one heavy storm, three limited removals, three book of moons, two enemy controllers, two nobleman across house, one sword of revealing light, and two giant true dates. And then you also had four trap cards, four strongest trap cards in the game at the time. Ring of destruction, call it a haunted mirror force, and torrential tribute. He should have kicked everybody's ass. He was going in trying to get fucking King of Destruction the access, but walked away with Queen of Fate Eternia, which is which is fucking amazing, and I give you props for that, sir. And I don't have his deck list, but he won a Queen of Fate Eternia. Guan well. Sain Li. Guan Sain Li from Taiwan. Guan Sain Li. Yeah. He, since he played Book of Moon, he probably decked yep. out the opponent with Morphing Jaw. That too, and then Shallow Grave too. What a bitch! This was the first deck destruction deck. What a fat! <laughs> I love how I'm like, what do you attack with? And then like, trying to think you're smarter from me all the way from 2005. Like, yeah, I don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> Thank God I called that because somebody would have commented, it's deck devastation, you stupid ass. And I would have been like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so if, if I personally think that if Queen of Fate would sell for anything, I think for a good price for her, I'm going to say $8,000. I was going to say five. I'm saying 8,000 flat. She's such a pretty looking card. I would love to have her. I feel like for me, it's like, I like those humanoid looking cards and she looks human and I would love to walk around and be like, I have. What Queen the fuck is that shit by her chest? I'm sorry, everybody. What? This. Oh, that's her hand. Okay. Yeah, she's like. Oh. Oh, I thought it was like her titties, and then I thought it was like her other arm, and like that was like her bicep or some shit. Oh, what the fuck is that shit by her chest? What kind of under boob is that? It's under just... boob, it's her hand. She's like, mm. why? Because she has a thing on her chest. It's, it's, it's like it's like my like my version of Queen of Fate Eternia. Oh my God, she's Kenneth. <laughs> she was the first one to see John. <laughs> we made that joke so many times. Would you keep Queen of Fate Eternia? Do you like this card's artwork? Would you want to keep this if you had this card? Personally, if I had this card, there was no way in hell I would ever give this card away. I would rather be broke. I, but personally, I feel like I would just have a job like like I naturally do. I, like I would work like naturally like I already do. And basically, I would just have the card and just have it because it would make me happy. So you're trying to tell me that you, you would... Just because you wouldn't sell it, the real question is, would you eat it? Internet. <laughs> would you or would you not eat Queen of Fate Eternia? Who would Comment down below. Your I know answer. you're making Don't a joke. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe. Winner from the last video. We I'm trying to right remember here. if there's anything I there's forgot. There's nothing else we need to talk about, dude. We got the winner from the last pack. If you want to win a pack, like and comment down okay. below. And winner. If you guys enjoyed it, the next us. video I'll be talking about, the next best card ever is going to be featuring Testament of the Arcane Lords. If you would like to know every detail about that card and see this uh, segment continue, like the video. <laughs> so, subscribe to the channel. We want to get more and more subscribers. We're trying to get more and more out there. Thank you guys for watching. It's greatly appreciated. You know what? Please, if you could just find a moment out of your day, you know, why, why, just click the button. Please, you know, it really helps you. <laughs> You sound just like that homeless man. <laughs> <laughs>